YouTube content creators, including me, don't know anything about anything any more than anyone else. When it comes to sports card knowledge, the only difference between a content creator and you is we have a YouTube channel. The voice of a YouTube channel content creator is no different than the voice of a friend who you like to discuss sports cards with. Sometimes they get things right, sometimes they get things wrong. It's all just part of an ongoing discussion and all within a context where everyone is learning together. No one quote unquote knows. I mean, don't get me wrong here, there's plenty of YouTube channels that I really love. There are plenty of voices in the hobby that I really respect and really gain a lot of perspective and knowledge from. I could listen to those guys over at Bench Clear Media all day about cards and feel like I'm gaining some valuable knowledge from the conversation again and again. Some other channels, when I listen to them, I agree with a lot of what they say and disagree with some things here and there. I'm just listening to a friend share their perspectives on things I have a mutual interest in. But when I'm listening to people, whoever it may be, talking about the hobby, I am not taking taking it as the soaking up of objective truth. Not at all. I am taking it as a perspective to consider, to reflect on, and to think through. Sometimes I'll see some truth in what someone else says about some aspect of the hobby more than in something that I personally had previously said or thought, and I'm perfectly happy to sacrifice my perspective on the altar of previous ignorance and adopt that new understanding. To not do so would just be an exercise of ego. I'm not going to defend my position if I find that there was some aspect I had not considered or some piece of knowledge that I didn't previously have. That'd be stupid of me. I mean, I may be stupid sometimes. I'm not perfect. No one is. I may get too attached to some of my own ideas at times, but I consider it a mental weakness if I cannot detach from my own perspective, consider things in a wider way. And I try my best to always widen my own understanding of things, whether it be related to the hobby or related to absolutely anything else in life. But too often, when the voices of YouTube content creators become overly amplified in the hobby space, it happens that people get attached to individuals' voices or anti-someone else's voice more so than they do to ideas and concepts and understandings. And I don't think that is a healthy place to be. In the hobby today, it can happen that it causes people to position themselves in support of this person or in opposition to this other person, to fortify themselves in this or that stance. And that is not how learning works. That is not how understandings are forged or how new possibilities come into people's awareness. I love this quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. When it comes to the YouTube channels of the hobby, I'm cool with what Eleanor Roosevelt describes as average and great. Events like card shows, box openings, etc. Cool. Ideas on all sorts of hobby related topics. Cool. The talk about people, especially anti this or that person, nah, that's empty. Next, I gain as much from watching Sports Card Investors YouTube channel as I do from watching AIH Sports's YouTube channel. Though there are video topics on both those channels I'll choose to listen to and others I'll choose to ignore, they're both approaching things with an entirely different perspective and mindset from each other. There are things that they both say that I agree with wholeheartedly, and there are things they both say that I disagree with quite strongly. But I'm happy to listen to them both, most of the time, and I'm happy to consider what they both say, usually. I'm happy to reflect on their ideas and I find plenty of opportunities to learn from them both. I could say this about almost any content creator, although there are a few that I have chosen to ignore when something deeper like hate enters the space. I don't have tolerance for that. But besides that, I feel like I can gain something and learn something from pretty much everyone. Now, this is an approach that I honestly don't think is rare, and God, I hope it isn't, but too often the narrative in the sports card world in the realm of content creator space is that there are voices that know, and voices that don't know. And coming at things with that kind of perspective closes off all kinds of paths for learning. In my approach with my YouTube channel, I try my best to consider and reflect and learn and research before sharing something. But it is entirely possible I completely overlook something big, misunderstand something important, ignore some important variable that would change my perspective completely, or I could just be completely wrong about something. The same is true with every YouTube channel content creator, no matter how big or small their platform. On a practical level, this means a lot of things. When I'm coming up with my own strategy for which cards to buy and which cards to sell and where to buy them and where to sell them, I'm coming at it from my own context and my own thought process. Will I take advice and ideas from content creators? Sometimes, absolutely. I'll try to learn as much as I can from anyone and everyone. But will I simply follow a path outlined by a content creator? No, no, that'd be a path destined for failure. I've heard of a lot of people who lost a lot of money from doing exactly that. You cannot blindly follow a path outlined by someone else and expect to succeed. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. 